Tonight on BCN Weekly News. In this week's special report, our reporter Mac Carmack shows her investigation on black and green mold growing in several residence halls. How students can cope with this issue coming next. Also, a small fire broke out on campus. The details of where and when it happened coming up. And after more than a month in office, we review the SGA executive president and vice president's work. How much has the SGA done for the students? All of this and more coming up soon tonight on BCN Weekly News. Live from BCN Arts Studio in Berea, Kentucky, this is BCN Weekly News. Good evening and welcome back to another newscast of BCN Weekly News. My name is Esteban Reina. During last week's room inspections, patches of mold were found in James, Deep Green and Blue Ridge residence halls. Our reporter, Mac Carmack, shows what students can do if they find mold in their rooms and how to prevent it in this week's special report. Mac? Thanks, Esteban. Last fall, students were evicted from their homes in Deep Green due to an overwhelming amount of mold. Students residing in James and Blue Ridge have had similar experiences this semester. During room investigations, students living in Blue Ridge and James found black mold near their air conditioning unit. To learn some ways that the college solved the mold issue, I interviewed an RA from Deep Green who firsthand experienced the mold issue last semester. Um, <laughs> I felt more stuffy for sure, but I just kind of wrote it off as like allergies. I know that a lot of residents had you know, like mold on their desks and mold on their walls, and I didn't have that, so I just thought I was fine. And then the day came where we had to move out, and I stripped my bed sheets to put them in the hallway, and there was mold all over my bed. But, like, at the end of the day, it is, like, the college's job for our rooms to be in a state where mold won't grow. So hopefully they can, you know, figure out what's happening with the air and fix that so you don't have to. In the unfortunate case students find mold in their rooms, Bria College Housing kindly asked students to fill out a work order form. A link to these forms may be found on the hall dashboard or a QR code in the residence hall. Housekeeping will clean the mold from the area. In the worst case scenario, students may be asked to briefly leave the room until the mold has been resolved. In your next room inspection, alert the AC of any questionable areas mold may be growing. Consistently breathing in mold may lead to prolonged respiratory issues and flu-like symptoms. For the health and safety of all Berea College students, the Housing Department asks students to report an issue as soon as possible. This is Matt Carmack reporting from James for Berea College News and Radio. Back to you, Esteban. Thank you, Mac. A small fire broke out yesterday on campus. We're told some students reported seeing some smoke rising behind the alumni building. Following the reports, several fire trucks, ambulances and police cars were seen driving down Scaffold Cane Road. The fire originated in a red shack immediately behind the alumni building. We are told no one was injured and that the building did not experience any serious damage. According to Director of Public Safety Brad Cole, open quote, the fire was believed to be caused by a small battery device that was overheated and was outside of the building. Coming next on BCN Weekly News. It's been more than a month since Connor Courtney and Ezra Lanou took over the executive offices at the Student Government Association. How much the SGA has done for the students coming next. Also, President Ruloff sent out an email detailing the new mask policies on campus. We've got the details of the new changes coming up. And next week, Berea College celebrates Labor Day. The activities surrounding the long-awaited break from work and classes coming soon. Keep tuned to more BCN Weekly News after this break. More than 90% of a child's brain develops before the age of five, making these early years critical for future success. Fortunately, togetherness can go a long way to support learning development. Reading, counting, playing, together. 
It's really that simple to increase your child's readiness to open up a world of possibilities. This is Kentucky, where the only thing ordinary is the unexpected. Come see for yourself. Plan your trip at KentuckyTourism.com. I'm getting vaccinated against COVID-19. Yes, there could be some short-term side effects from the vaccine, but they go away in a day or two. Those are signs that my body's building protection. It's worth it to avoid serious problems from COVID-19 disease. Thanks for staying with us. The SGA Executive President Connor Courtney and Vice President Ezra Lanou have held the executive offices for over a month now. Their presidency started right after former President Obina Ilochungwu suddenly resigned last semester. In a recent communication, the SGA showed its progress in amending the Constitution and preparing a proposal to expand visitation and gender-inclusive housing. In an exclusive interview for BCN Weekly News, the officers confirm they are still working on implementing the 24-7 visitation policy and passing legislation to make it easier for people with drug and alcohol-related emergencies to seek help without punishment. Um, finishing up the 24-7 policy, um, it's definitely happening. So right now, the work there is like working out, ironing out the kinks, making sure that we have a fully functional policy to go into effect uh, next year and the year that, year that follows. The Senate passed uh, Good Samaritan uh, reform legislation. It makes it so if a student is seeking um, medical assistance for a drug or alcohol-related emergency, they aren't penalized. Um, for seeking that help. So if you're in Brushy Fork and you might have been doing a substance out there and you're no longer able to walk out, you can call public safety. Uh, they'll help you and you'll receive whatever medical treatment you might need without uh, retribution. We are told the expansion on GIH and visitation policies could be expected to roll out within the next two years. President Ruloff sent an official statement last Wednesday explaining the most recent changes to the indoor masking policy. The official communication explains masks will no longer be required in residence halls and indoor labor at the discretion of the supervisor, although masks are still required in classrooms and large gatherings exceeding 50 people. We're told the faculty will also revise indoor masking for classes in their next meeting on April 7th. Berea College will celebrate on April 5th, Labor Day. Our reporter Anupriya Dixit presents the activities planned for the event. Anupriya? Labor Day is an annual tradition at Berea College to celebrate students' work and contribution towards the college. Students also get to explore labor positions for the summer and fall semester. Berea College will be celebrating Labor Day on April 5th. The event will include several activities for students throughout the day. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., a labor fair will be held at the Upper Seabury Gym where students can learn about different departments and find positions for next semester. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., the last dash event will take place in Baird Lounge. At the event, graduating seniors can learn more about services offered by the Career Development Office. Lastly, dining services will be serving lunch on the quad starting from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And we want to be intentional about saying thank you and showing appreciation for all of the hard work that our students do in every department. And we want students who feel as if they are not seen that we see you. We want to celebrate you, and we want you to know that you're important. And in office, um, Rosanna Napoleon is is the brains and the brawn behind this operation. She is our training and assessment specialist, and she she is Labor Day. Um, this is this is what she has been eating and breathing for months and months and months. There will also be a food truck, kettle corn, raffle prizes, free T-shirts, and much more. All students are recommended to attend the event. The Labor Office staff and President Ruloffs will address the crowd in the quad at the beginning of the event. Classes will be dismissed on Labor Day so students can take a break and enjoy the events. This is Anupriya Dixit reporting from Hafer Gibson Building for BCN Weekly News. Thank you, Anupriya. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. I'm Esteban Reina. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Berea College News Radio and watch our show at www.bcnewsradio.com. Good night.